There it is. You're good. Okay, stop wandering around. Put your ass there, stay there. I'm just turn it a little bit when I get here. What are you doing, okay? So this is your thing. Okay, come over here and show the camera the, the, the suit you get from. Coming close, you see it, guys? This is suit too, but you wouldn't even go there to stick at these papers because you'd be terrified to use them. Now, this is important to know for all advanced users. This is very light. Versus that heavy blood everything up, you're stretching, your neck hurts, this hurts, that. This is super light. And this amount is going to go 10 times further than the same block if it was thicker. That's what you got to get in your head. The hardest thing for you guys to do is to understand how to control your, your thing without slopping it all over the place. You will eventually get it once you understand So I'm not talking, let's just go here and get the wall so you can see the feet. Watch me, watch me hold the wall. So it's always the same. Put on the plaster. Get it on to where it's got to go. Your body positioning is very important. This, my body is in the right place. I'm loading the wall. I'm not finishing it yet. I'm putting stuff on there. I'm putting it on there first. Loading the wall. So I'm getting my, my, the amount on my truck off. This looks kind of, can you see the, it looks kind of weird like that. Now you start the the ledger 10, which is like this. I'm seeing how much I got up push up. Almost like a three jeans. See, look, most of that's coming back up. I don't want everything to go all over the place, so I go like this, I put that in the middle, and I go like this, I push a little harder, take over here, and you'll notice that this is the part that's already done, this is the part I'm putting on, I'm going into the wet stuff, versus going this way again. This is only going to cause you to make more marks and more marks, which is why I'm coming here like this, you angle it, you push it up, go into the finished product. This is very important. Now it's like a squeegee again. I am exerting almost zero energy. It's extremely gratifying, very cool, and you're achieving perfection and the perfect amount on that. So see, remember what I came to the wall with? Look how much space I got done. And the perfection that I achieved in that space. And I still got more. And this is drying me in my home. You can see it. So I'm going to finish it. And see, I still got more of that. You know? I still got some left now. I'm going to switch it into the middle. And then I'm going to go back and blow the rest up on the wall as well. This is a little bit more drier than when I first came to it. See, this is also zero energy. I'm really not putting any energy into that. Coming back on a super mixture. Always keep stuff out of your workplace so you can maneuver. It's very important. Every little step counts in the job. So on here, see? Less. Very light. Perfection on a wall. A cheap cost. From that wall over there, all the way down there, like 35 feet by 7 feet from here, this is 8 feet. 7 feet. This whole thing takes about 15, 20 minutes in reality. So again, look, look what I loaded on there. See that? That's nothing. Right? I'm going to load it on the wall. Not the same thing. A little, little bit. This is very light. Putting it on. Putting it on. All obstacles are in there. Any screws, anything that's in there, I'd say a full flow. You'd be surprised with this wall. How I can make an absolute decrepit wall very nice in, in, in four or five cups. So I loaded it. Now, I know, now I'm going to go over here very carefully. I'm going to push it very control. I'm controlling just for a second. Now I don't have to control so much. I don't have to worry about it. I revert back to just basic speed. Right? And this goes in here. So it's almost like squeegeeing now. Once you get to a level 10, this becomes like awkward for you and all your things are met. And everything is done. See, constantly going from the wet part to this part. Clean. It's getting a little sloppy there. Let's clean that up right away. The most important thing is having this thing clean all the Go back to the wall. So now I'm doing my final. And I'm done. 
control. Yeah. There's nothing that you put concrete in there, cement, wood, whatever. The plastering solves a lot of issues. Now, on this particular wall, it's usually not a full kind of coat. Why? Because there was problems with this, we fixed that up, and then there was other problems. We had machine coats up again on top of correcting a problem from the previous plastic. And we want to be excellent at what we do. Now, what does this come to show that the thing now is like it's on here? There's no bumps and stuff. Now, okay, now pay attention here. When this is dry, tomorrow when you come back to the work, when this is dry, my sanding is going to go, this whole wall is going to take me, are you ready for this? Six minutes to do a perfect sanding. See? So you're saving in sanding, material, planes, and all of that stuff. Anyway, that's it for now.